What's up, everybody? I'm Luke with Ride Bikes More. Today, I am at the Ant Hills with Ben for a bike jump interview. But before I get started, I want to say special thank you to everyone out there for tapping into all the social medias. And remember to cycle because it makes you feel good. Mm. Ben, thank you so much for taking some time to speak to me today about the Ant Hills and everything you guys are doing here. I know you represent Gorba. Tell me a little bit more about your cycling background and how you got involved in Gorba. For me, in the mountain bike community, I probably got into riding probably about three years ago, maybe. I had lived just north of the Ant Hills for 10 years after leaving the military and never even knew this was back here. And then I came out on a bike ride one time, I almost died, I don't know how many times. And after that, I'm like, okay, this is great. This is where I like to be. It's awesome. And so I've been doing this ever since. Tell me a little bit more about what Gorba does. So Gorba's main purpose, Gorba builds communities that build trails. And so looking at how we engage more communities and more people, to your point, make the sport more inclusive to everyone, make it more accessible to everyone, you know, regardless of money. Obviously, mountain biking's not cheap by any stretch of the imagination. I ride a cheap bike and it still costs quite a bunch. So the point is, is that we're going to try to expand the amount of people that have access to riding. And a lot of people don't know this, there's actually 2,000 miles of bayou front property that connects all of Houston that's unutilized currently. So it's either collecting trash, has vagrancy, it has drugs, it has crime, and we could utilize that to connect all of Houston, which is kind of the thing that, man, wouldn't that be cool? You have an event going on today. Tell us a little bit more about what's happening. Specifically to the Ant Hills BMX is we're trying to, Fred Jordan is actually one of the guys who's been working out here for a while, him and Mike Winkler both. They built all this stuff up essentially over time and keep it maintained. And one thing that Fred noticed over over time is he wasn't seeing as many kids coming out to the deal. He wasn't seeing many of the community coming out there. So he came out to one of our NAR kid rides, one of our NAR ant rides. He's like, holy smokes, like, look at all these kids. Look how awesome this is. And so he was like, hey, can we get the kids out to the dirt jumps and show people that, hey, you can do this. This is possible. This is fun. This is exciting. It's always been sort of, I'd say, counterculture like BMX as we were laughing the day signing waivers and everything. So most people are like, what? But like, it's an amazing sport and it's a lot of fun. And to Fred's point, it's like, hey, we have this wonderful amenity, okay, that exists in our city. Why don't we have kids rolling all over the place? You know, that's what we need to see more of. And that's what Fred wanted to see out here as well. What would you say to someone that is thinking about coming out, but unsure? I'd say check in with Gorba, send us an email, ask us some questions, whatever you got. We probably have a ride somewhere locally we're updating our website right now to include more of our family rides and more of our events that are around town so reach out to us directly ask us a question reach out to me i mean you can shoot me a note on facebook i really don't care if you're interested in getting into biking and participating in the sport we'd love to have you so come out i don't care what bike you're on if you're on a daggone huffy or if you're on a specialized it doesn't matter come out ride with us and if you don't have a bike doesn't matter come out we'll, we'll find you a bike we'll take care of you so look us up any other messages? We as a community need to get better at uniting and coming together and start demanding more and start asking for more. They will give us more. The problem is, is that there's just a few of us right now that are in those seats and in those places. I'm on the Bicycle Advisory Committee. I'm on the board of Gorba, but I'm one piece of the whole pie. We need everybody involved in that, asking their community leaders, asking their politicians, hey, we want to see this stuff because Houston is at least 10 to 15 years behind everybody else. I mean, truthfully, and we could have so much more in Houston, have so much more connection to our green space across the board but we've got to come together and get that stuff built great message any shout outs you want to give i want to give a shout out to dennis duarte he stepped down this year from presidency and i've taken over presidency of gorba this year but i want to thank him because two years ago he got me involved in all this mess and it's been the best thing that i have done in a long time and so i love it and i'm grateful to dennis duarte for that and if you don't know this either, a big shout out for Sugarland Classic is coming up in May. It's the largest mountain bike race in the state of Texas. If you're new to mountain biking, come on down to Sugarland, come race with us in the Ant Hills. Sorry, I got so much here. Ant Hills Trail Fest is going on March 9th. Come out and join us from 12 to 4. We'll have the big airbag, the six foot kicker ramp will be out there. Come join us, come see what we're about. And also Timberlane Festival is happening on April 6th. So come out to Timberlane, that's in North Houston. Uh, you can look it up on the web. Again, reach out to me directly if you got any questions, but love to see you all out there. Ben, thank you so much. I really appreciate the invite and being able to speak to you today. Big shout out to Marco from Guerra Studios for not only connecting me with you, but also holding the camera today. I could not have said it better. I'm Luke for Ride Bikes More, and we are out now. Mm. Mic check, mic check.